present to them the benefits that they have uh, with an Avon business there. Uh, write those benefits out for them. Uh, talk about those benefits based on what I've learned that they want from their Avon business there, what they want out of life or what they may need and, and try to set goals. That's one of the things in part of communication and that connection, set those goals with your downline, set that goal with your upline so that you guys are aware of uh, and you have those expectations out there for a more successful business there. Without communicating, you can be doing something and thinking that it's helping your downline and it's really not what they want. And that tends to cause them to fall away, uh, not be engaged with you. So you wanna set those expectations at the beginning and making sure that you always stick to those, uh, those guidelines and, and, and then set uh, deadlines as well. Those one of the things that's important there, not just to have those goals written, but set a deadline for when, when are we gonna work on these goals? When do you wanna see these goals accomplished there? It's not enough just to say it, but we need to make sure that we're doing it, okay? So that's one of the things that's helped me out. I made some mistakes in, in my beginning stages of leadership. I started selling Avon when I first signed up in January. Maybe I joined leadership about June. And there are things that I used to do that uh, I've learned that were not helpful and I had to stop doing those things. So it's important to make sure that the communication is open and that you guys stay connected there when you're first joining uh, the Avon business there. One of the things that I'm learning, uh, not only just here in this uh, year of 2020, when we're trying to survive a pandemic here as well, but uh, change. Change is something that's always gonna happen. You can even say that change is consistent. And we've seen so many changes in the Avon business. Growing up with Avon, I've seen changes in the appearance of the perfume bottles there. I can go back and tell you about Fifth Avenue and Topaz with the little yellow um, gem at the top of the yellow bottle there, you know, but we've seen those changes and we're going to continue to see changes. And so I always encourage representatives to embrace those changes. We see changes in the leadership compensation chart. There's, those, those are things that's beyond our control. And we're always trusting and hoping that Avon is operating in the best interest of the representative hoping to find ways to bring the representative uh, more money and profits to their business there. Um, so we have to just embrace those changes, uh, learn to adapt to those changes, and learn not to allow those changes to hold you back from working your business and making sure that you are continuing to speak with excitement about your business there. Sometimes some changes can hit us in the wrong way and it kind of takes some of the joy away, but I want to encourage you to keep that excitement about your business because no one is going to want to join a business that you're not excited about. So make sure that when you're talking to people about it, be careful what you share with people who are maybe not quite fully committed to joining your Avon team. You want to be honest with them, but you don't want your negative opinions about the business to cause them not to want to join the business there. So always speak about the benefits that the business can bring. Uh, find out what they may need uh, in life and, and kind of show them how the business can bring those things about for them there. The other C, so I've talked about consistency, communication, connection, change. The other C is commitment. Without commitment, without you getting a full commitment from your new representative, uh, the business is going to be unstable. We need people who are going to be committed the same way that an NBA or NFL team need the commitment from those players in order for them to be committed to working together, committed to giving it all that they got, committed to showing up to practice, committed to getting out there and playing the game so that they can not only win the game, but they can win championships, you know, and take home the ring, take home the trophy. We need to stay committed to the business. Things are gonna happen in your personal life. I've had things to happen in 2020 in my personal life, but I still stay committed to my business. Uh, if you don't stay committed to your business, your business can easily slip away from you. So this is why I am encouraging you to make sure that you stay committed. You got to have a determined mind that this is something that you want to do. This is something that you're going to commit the time to do. And this is something that you understand is going to take 
time to achieve. It's not something that happens overnight. It's something that gradually starts to develop into a beautiful business there. And I'm glad to say that over 10 years, you know, now as an Avon representative with my own business, uh, I've had to uh, reassure my commitment and I've had to encourage other representatives and other leaders to stay committed to the business uh, despite the changes there. And over time, we saw where those changes benefited the representatives more than we initially thought that it would there. So change is always going to happen, but make sure that you are not allowing those changes to cause you to uh, not stay committed to your business there as well. So I just want to cover those C's because those are important for life, for business there, for your personal development there. And I'll start talking about uh, some tips that I have for sales and leadership there. So one of the tips that I have uh, has to go back to um, the skin so soft. I have been successful for many years on a weekly basis selling skin so soft. And one of the things that I found to be successful is selling it as a bundle. And so I want to share that with you tonight. I actually have the bundle with me, um, but I put the bundle and a clear literature bag that we can get from our Avon business there. So the things that I will have in my bundle, of course, is the oil, 16.9 ounce. Uh, I will also bundle the shower gel with it. I will bundle the uh, body lotion uh, with it as well. And then I'll slide in something that they can carry around, maybe have at the office, something that they can have uh, in their car, whenever they don't want to travel with the big lotion, they can have the hand cream. So that's four pieces, guys. Four pieces that you can have in a clear literature bag of the Skin So Soft products there. And I sell this on a weekly basis, and you can sell it for $25 there. People are so uh, happy to get this many products for $25, okay? It has worked for me for many years. And it's something that I encourage people to try. I, I remember when Avon used to have the bundles for us. I think they did seven pieces. I always could sell less than seven pieces for the same price that Avon was encouraging us to sell that seven piece uh, bundles for. So I know that if you use Skin So Soft uh, with your business, as far as it comes as sales, uh, you have success. We know Skin So Soft to be good as a moisturizer. Uh, a lot of people out there constantly tell me that they use it for other reasons, uh, even as a bug repellent. Although you see behind me, I have the Bug Guard, which Avon has out, Skin So Soft Bug Guard for repellent. People stand by this product right here that's in my hand, also as a repellent for insects. And uh, I continue to sell it that way. I was selling it this way when I was 15, and it continues to sell now uh, for me today. And so I want to encourage you all, you may be new and don't know about this product. So I want to let you know that this is a uh, great selling product. And I hope Avon continue to keep this product. I have seen the bottle change over time. Uh, it used to not be as clear uh, as it is here now, but uh, it is still selling. D despite the change of the bottle, it's still selling well there. So that's one of my tips there is to make sure that you are bundling things together. It doesn't necessarily have to be skin so soft. You can even bundle skincare products. Uh, the day cream, the night cream, uh, any cleanser that you may have there, you can bundle those things together and, uh, and sell them as well. So I, I constantly see people on Facebook doing uh, baskets during the holidays. Those are one of the things that I recommend as well. I've tried it. It works. It works extremely well for Valentine's Day. Uh, it works well uh, for something that you can market for birthdays. Just put it out there on social media that if someone need a birthday gift, that you're willing to put a gift basket together for someone's birthday, and it could be a male or female, just to get your name out there. That's part of the marketing there. And I'll talk about something that I post in my group, uh, six days of uh, things you can do in your business there to, to grow your business, to grow your customer base, and to uh, take your sales to the next level there if you'll just stay committed to it. One of the other things that I wanted to talk about that I use with my business is the uh, referral program. It's easy to grow your customer base using your current customers, all right? Some of you may be already using this, but if you're not, 
please make sure that you write this down and start executing it because it can really help you grow your business uh, on a weekly basis there. And what I simply do is let all of my customers know that I have a referral program where they send their family, friends, even someone who they may meet to my business. And when that person shops with me and I know that they are the one who refer them, I have a free gift that I'll give them for every person that they send uh, to my business and they shop with me. And so your free gift, like I was telling people, can be a shower gel, it can be a hand cream, it can be jewelry, it can be some great product that you got when you went to an Avon conference and you have a basket full of freebies that you got. And now you can share those nice products that you got from the conference free with your customer who is referring people to you and helping you grow your business there. So two weeks ago, I gave this offer to a young lady who just recently moved into town and she contacted me and said that she would like for me to be her Avon representative. Of course, I accepted that offer. Why wouldn't I? Um, and I told her about my referral program and in return, about a week later, I got a call from her and she said, you know what? I have seven people that want to order Avon. Seven new customers that I got to my business there. Uh, all because I told her about my referral program, told her about the rewards that she can receive for uh, letting people know about my business there. These are people who I probably would have never come in contact with, but because I had that referral program in place, I've gained new customers there. And I don't mind that uh, she is the lead person for receiving those orders when I have them ready and bagged, uh, samples in the bags, I have books in the bags, my information is there, I make sure that they get the goodbye flyers, I make sure that they get sales flyers, uh, make sure that male or female, they're getting samples of each kind. The males will get samples for females, the females will also get samples for the males because I am thinking about who may be in their household that they can introduce that fragrance to, that they can introduce that skincare product to. Um, so I make sure I do that. But even to this day, that person, the reason why I mention this is because this is not a one-time group. That person is still sending orders to me. And it's not just three people, it's now eight people. So it continues to grow because when I present the rewards to her, I make a big deal out of it. I announce it in front of her family. I ask if I can come into their home and uh, I do that presentation in front of their family and friends inside their home. So make it a big deal, make a person feel appreciated and they'll work even harder to help support you and your business there. So I wanna make sure I mention that because that's the growth that I would not have had uh, with my business here if I had not had that referral program in place there. So I hope that you guys will take note and use that to help grow your business there. One of the tips that I think is important that you have for leadership growth is making sure that you set up a monthly call with your team members there, or at least let them know that they can reach out to you for uh, a phone call or a Zoom opportunity there. I am in position now where I'm trying to uh, let my team know that when one person has a question, that question will be uh, answered for everyone, you know, so I'll collect the questions and then I'll do a Zoom and you can join the Zoom and everybody can benefit from uh, those questions because that question that, that one person is asking, someone else probably has that same question. They may be afraid to ask it. And so by me doing the Zoom and open it up for everyone, then I can help uh, teach other people there versus just spending time teaching one person there. So. That's something new that I started doing because it can be time consuming. Uh, it depends on the size of your team when you're doing one-on-one -on -one coaching. If there's someone who's struggling and they need that one-on-one -on -one coaching as an upline, I highly recommend that you uh, give that person that one-on-one -on -one coaching there. It may make a big difference in their life. I can remember joining Avon and having a district manager, Marie Gaynor, uh, who was my one-on-one -on -one partner there. She was the person who helped me sign up my first six people in one day. I had six people. I made an appointment for each one of them, and she was there to help show me how to uh, get the first and the second person uh, signed to my team, and then I was able to take the rest of them 
and signed them up that day, but she was there with me and she continued to meet with me uh, or at least give me the opportunity to be able to meet with her uh, on a weekly basis there. So I know how important that is to have that one-on-one -on -one coaching. And that's something that I highly recommend for leaders to make sure that you're doing with your team members who are struggling and making sure that as team members, you're not hiding the fact that you need that extra help from your upline. That's what we're here for. We're here to help you grow. We're here to make sure that you don't feel like you're alone in this business. You know, we're in business for ourselves, but we're not by ourselves. We're always in it together as a team. And we know that as a team, when we're together, everyone achieves more. So uh, make sure that you are keeping that communication open and you are expressing when you need that extra attention from your upline. It may be a one-on-one, -on -one, and I always ask my team to make sure that I know that so that we can get them on my calendar scheduled for that one-on-one -on -one opportunity there. So um, that's something that I wanted to recommend there, setting up a monthly uh, contact time uh, with your team uh, for growth and leadership and growth and sales there. One thing that has helped me a lot personal development, uh, connecting with people who have become customers to my business, it's getting out in the public on a weekly basis. I will get out in the public on a daily basis. Uh, there was a time I got on a daily basis, and I still do, um, but I don't think I'm going at it as hard as I used to when I first started this. But my thing was the power of three. I would make contact with three people, sharing my Avon brochure, sharing my business cards when I I uh, would go to the bank to make deposits, or I would go to a restaurant for lunch, or maybe I was going to the gas station. I would make sure that I go inside, connect with the people inside there, um, let them know that I'm the Avon representative for the area there, and uh, introduce my business to them and, and offer them a brochure. Many times, uh, representatives set themselves up to be rejected. It's because they ask, do you want one of my brochures? No, don't ask. Just offer it to them. It's that great that you just want them to have it and you extend that book to them, offer it to them and let them know this is for your family, for a friend. When you're finished looking through the book, you can pass it along to a friend there because I want you guys to see how Avon has changed and they have more products for you and your family. That's kind of how I present it there. So even if you have to just use those exact same words, you want to offer it to them versus asking them if they want one of your Avon books. The same thing is true when it comes to um, joining the Avon business there as well there. You know, find out what it is that the person may need in life. Start out with the conversation. Avon business is a relationship business. I continue to say that it's a relationship business. Build the relationship first, have a conversation with the person, let them tell you what it is that they may want or need, and then you find a way to introduce your Avon business to them and show them how the Avon opportunity uh, could be a great opportunity for them and their family. If they need more cash, show them how they can make cash, you know, with sales. Um, show them how they can make cash and uh, on a biweekly basis there when it comes to the leadership. We got the leadership composition plan. It's being revamped for us so that we don't have to have those generation one leaders now in order to grow, you know, in the leadership uh, levels. So be ready, be knowledgeable about those plans when it comes to leadership. Be prepared to be able to talk to people about how much money they can earn when they hit certain sales levels, because you know the percentages, uh, the profit margin that they can earn when they hit uh, 5,000, 10,000, 20,000 on up to 220,000, um, which I'm proud to say that I was able to hit 220,000 in sales in a circle, the highest sales level um, in the company there back in 2018. I did it in uh, honor of my father, who was an Avon rep. I pushed myself and, and I sold a lot of skin so soft that year. And I was able to achieve that and be recognized in Hawaii at the Avon Presidential Recognition Program uh, there in Hawaii there. And that was an honor. And uh, it felt good because when I first started Avon, I would go to the PRP celebrations. And I was the person with my big camera who would zoom in and take pictures of the leaders on stage receiving their awards. And then I would share those things with them on Facebook there, you know, and then 
when I had that opportunity to be on stage in 2018, someone uh, returned the favor and they took pictures. And uh, I'm, I'm proud of that moment there as well. But just make sure that uh, you're getting out into the public on a weekly basis and make sure and make sure that you're prepared to uh, let people know. Find out from them if they need to earn an extra $200 every week, if they need to earn an extra $500 every month, find out how much in products they need to sell based on the percentage that they get off. If they're just starting, that's at 25%. Just see the, do the calculations so that you're able to be able to show them how much they need to sell in products in order to get that extra $200 every week or that extra $500 that they may say they need every month there. That's what we do. You have to be the expert uh, in this business. People look at you as the Avon expert, whether it becomes the sales or leadership there. So if you're not there yet, the only way you're going to get comfortable is to start doing it. I always tell people, if you're comfortable, you're not growing. In order to grow, you have to step out of your comfort zone. So if this is something that you're not comfortable with when it comes to numbers, the only way you're going to get better is to actually start doing it. So I want to encourage you, if you're listening tonight, to have those things uh, in place because that could be your next Tim Brown on your team who's waiting for you to show him how he can make an extra $500 a month to be able to keep the lights on for his family. How he can make an extra $200 a week to be able to put groceries in the refrigerator. Those are the great things that we get to do as Avon representatives, making positive changes in the lives of others, changes that they had no idea that they can make come true by having an Avon business there. All right, so uh, make sure that we are doing that. So the reason why I get out in the public on a weekly basis is because I have products and I have products that I sell um, to people there. And, and they're not every product that's in the book. I don't have every jewelry piece. I don't have every fashion piece. Um, I leave that to other people who are uh, experts in, in those fields, but I do have some of the core products there and I don't mind telling you about it, but when I tell you about, it's, it's just certain fragrances that you do, but one of the things that, uh, about the fragrance, so say for instance, far away, I don't know if you can see this, I'm trying to make it based on the light there, far away, uh, far away, haiku, rare gold, rare pearls, rare diamonds, uh, the classic ones like candid, timeless, sweet honesty, night magic uh, odyssey those are all core products for me that i have customers asking me for or i run into someone who said they haven't seen an avon book in a long time and they ask me do i have that product today they want it then i know we can get on our website and have it shipped to them but there are something about uh people uh wanting that product right then and when you have that product you're able to make that instant sale because you have the product on hand. Now, as I mentioned in my group, everybody may not be ready to have products on hand because it's an investment and it costs money. But I guarantee you, if you can take some of the profits that you get when you are getting your book orders and you can put it to the side, even if it's just $5, because I don't know what your budget is, I don't know what your household needs are, so I turn. Uh, he loved the smell so much that his wife said, let's add that on to our bundle. Now, I'm, I'm already delivering them $105 worth of products. A lot of people will be happy and say, hey, I want to deliver that, get my money, and get back out the door. But I always try to introduce another product to my customer while I'm in their home or wherever it is that I may be meeting them for their product, uh, their, their delivery. And I try to introduce another product to them because that's your opportunity to capitalize on your current customers and grow your sales. So I wanna encourage you, if you're able to start saving and invest in some of the products, of course, some of the fragrances are products that I invest in, hand creams, the skin so soft products there, 
Uh, those are some of the other things there. Bubble bath, uh, when they're on sale, it's not just getting the products there, but you have to be an expert in making sure that you are trying to find them at the best price there uh, as well. But then you need to make sure you get out in the public on a weekly basis and sell those products there. How did I reach $220,000 in sales? I had to work it. I had to be consistent. I had to stay committed. I had to keep the communication open with my team, with my family there. I had to make sure that uh, I was aware that change is gonna happen and I gotta keep moving regardless of the changes that's gonna happen in my life there. And in return, I got the results there. And I know that anybody listening to me can get the results as well. You just gotta stay committed to your business and you got to uh, stay grounded and what you want out of your business there, okay? So you have to examine what you want out of your business there. One of the other tips there, um, which is a known fact, is just always give excellent customer service no matter what. One of the things uh, that I constantly hear from my customers is how they feel when they do business with me uh, because of how I treat them, how I spend a few time, a few minutes uh, talking with them, finding out about them and their family, how they're doing, and uh, just talking about something off from Avon, you know, that may be something personal. Sometimes it's not so much talking. Sometimes it's just me listening to them, giving them my time and attention there. So excellent customer service. Imagine how do you feel when you walk into a place like Chick-fil-A. They greet you when you walk in. They always say, my pleasure. And then compare that same uh, service to when you walk into another place I'm going to refrain from calling names uh, just in case someone may be working there. But imagine when you walk into another place and they don't greet you. They don't say thank you. They don't say, hey, we're happy to see you or make sure that you um, are, or we'll be glad to see you come back again. That's the difference in your customer service versus another rep's customer service that someone may experience because they may be out of town. They left their favorite product. They go to an event, there's an Avon rep there, and they receive that excellent customer service that I'm telling you, you should always strive to give your customers because you don't want them to see that you are given poor customer service uh, when someone else is giving them, making them feel much better than you do. Now, I'm not saying you have to be at the same level, but make sure that you are at a great level uh, when it comes to customer service there because you're gonna be rated upon that. That's why people have ratings right now on Google when it comes to their business there. Uh, customer service matters. And if your customer service is not great, people are gonna talk about it and they're gonna be less likely to refer their family and friends to you. So make sure that you stand on top of the customer service. And giving good customer service comes with samples. Samples work. And so it's something that I recommend that you give. I found that giving samples in the bag, uh, I get, orders for the full size products there. I found that if you let them try, they will buy you there. So make sure that samples are used. Uh, I'm glad that Avon's bringing back the samples so that we can have them. I think the samples are better uh, because now we can spray some of the samples versus just the, uh, the alcohol pads that we used to have there. So uh, make sure you use those samples and put those samples in your bags there. It's an investment but find a way to get that investment back based on you selling uh, additional products to that person, or maybe you are investing in it and you're just going to uh, uh, introduce that product to them and they may order the full size product there, but do not skip on samples. Samples work and it's something that I wanna make sure that I mention to you, even if it is something small uh, to some of you there. I'm not sure who all may be listening to this later on there, and they may be new, and I want you to know, make sure you're using samples there. Samples not only of just the fragrances, but do the samples of the shampoo. We have shampoo samples. We have moisturizers as samples there. We have skincare products there when it comes to the new eye cream. So make sure you're mixing uh, a variety of the samples in your bags for your customers there. So one of the things that I kind of hint on earlier when it comes to leadership is the Avon opportunity there. When it comes to the Avon opportunity, you have to make sure that you are removing yourself from it, what you can gain from someone joining your team, and make sure you make it about what they want uh, from 
the uh, out of life. I, I say out of life because they may just want to take vacations and they don't know that they can work their Avon business and earn fabulous vacations with Avon. Avon has also made changes there where more people now can earn uh, vacations by just working their business. We've seen a lot of people post that they earned a trip to Dominican Republic that Avon is hoping to take in April of 2021. I've had people on my team to earn the trip to Jamaica, which was something that we were supposed to take here in November of 2020, but it didn't happen. But guess what? Because the trip didn't happen, those people on my team who didn't get to go, they got $1,900 in return. With $1,900, you can later on take your own vacation, you know, and have some spending money. So uh, it's important to just talk about those things. Even if you are not earning those vacations, it's important for you to let people know that that's one of the benefits that they can receive as an Avon representative. There are a lot of people, when you talk to them, they have a different ideal of an Avon business. They have a different ideal of what we sell when it comes to Avon there. They put a limit to what it is that we sell when it comes to Avon business there. So make sure that you are educating people on the changes that Avon has had. Let them know about our connection now with LG and the great rewards that we can get now. A lot of people got TVs. Uh, a lot of people are getting those uh, speakers, surround sound from the recent rewards that uh, LG has introduced to the business. And you now get a reward for each level that you hit, whether it be President's Club or even Premier, President's Club, Honor Society, Rose Circle, uh, McConnell Club, President's Council all the way to Inner Circle there. So they are giving you prizes there. So make sure you talk about those things when it comes to the Avon opportunity and let people know, again, how they can make money on the sales side and how they can make money on the leadership side. And if you're not sure, because you may be new to this business, get with your upline and make sure you just go over those things because I want you to be prepared to be able to explain those things to people when it comes to you giving them the opportunity to join the Avon business and change their life for the better. All right. Uh, one of the things that's worked well for me in the business and I wanted to mention is just to find ways to be a vendor at events, whether it be a, a vendor at a, a produce market or a, a town festival that's going on. Great opportunity to meet new people who may be in your town a uh, great opportunity to be able to introduce new products that we have. Imagine, you know, going to a festival and introducing uh, the new fragrances that we have here uh, to male and female because male and female can wear these two fragrances here. And I know the price margin is a little higher than it is for the far away perfume there. But if they like it, they, they like this fragrance. I know people that will spend money for fragrances because they love the way it smells. You know, so it's our job to make sure that we're introducing these new products to them, even if it is a thousand dollars, like the charm uh, perfume there. Some people like that. Some people are buying it. You know, it may not be something that you may want to buy uh, as a consumer, but it doesn't mean that someone else won't buy it there. So make sure that uh, you're taking the opportunity to look up events that's going on. Uh, around your area there. You may have to travel 30 minutes away to the next town and find out about those events and make sure that you are finding out how you can be a vendor at those events. I've done these things. I've been at uh, my town fair. Uh, I've been at markets. I've been at church events. I've been at uh, events where uh, maybe the town was doing a fashion show. All of those things, I've been there and I've always had success at selling Avon products at those events there. I've had people on my team to do uh, vendor events. Uh, I had one to do one at a women's conference and she was blown away at the amount of money that she was able to make because she had products on display and uh, she was able to make sales by being a vendor at that event there. So. That's why I recommend that. Make sure you don't just have uh, perfume for women, but make sure you have the cologne for men. Men like to smell good as well there too. And one of the things that I was able to do when Mesmerized Black came out was to get the full size bottle and introduce it to as many men as I possibly could. And I was able to sell 90 bottles in less than three weeks of the Mesmerized Black cologne because of that. So it's all about your commitment 
what you're willing to get out and do with your business in order to bring the results uh, to your business there as well. And these are things that you can do with your team. So some people say, you know, if you're focused so much on sales, when do you have the time to recruit? I recruit while I'm selling. I let people know that we have this opportunity for them uh, if they need extra cash. That's one of the things that I always just say, if you need extra cash, you have the opportunity to be able to uh, join the Avon family and make some extra money there uh, for you and your family there. So while I'm selling, I'm trying to find out what the need is, what, what need do they have that I can use the Avon opportunity to be able to help them with there. So uh, make sure that it's working hand in hand. Some people have trouble getting information from people when they are at these vendor events. And one of the things that I recommend is that you do a monthly raffle and let people know, even if you're not my customer, you're a potential customer, if you put your name, number, and your email on this sheet, I'm gonna enter it into my uh, raffle box and I'm gonna pull a name every month and I'm gonna call you and let you know if you're one of the people who I pulled out. You know, So that's one of the ways that you can get their information so that you can stay in contact with them, so that you can follow up with them when, you get, when they get your book. So when you share your book, make sure that you're finding a way to get that contact information. Many times people go home, they, they'll lay your book down, not intentionally forgetting about it, but because that's how life is. You know, uh, they get home, something distracts them, and it's our job to make sure that we have a way to follow up with them to get uh, that order and that sale from them. So. Getting their contact information is one of the ways there, and you can do that raffle there and ask them for their name, their number, and their email so that you can follow up with them. And when you get that email, you wanna go into your web office, put that email in so that Avon can now send them information uh, on a biweekly basis uh, about your business and encouraging them to shop with you. My customers are getting an email from Avon about the 12 days of Christmas there, uh, so, that's the reason why I encourage you to try to get emails from people so that you can do that. Now, many people don't know this, but you can go on your website and there's a contact me button that people go on when they want to either buy products from you or become a representative or find more out about Avon. You can do that while you're face to face with people at an event or you're out there on the street and get their contact information from them on the spot. Go ahead and put it in so that that's not something they're going to forget about when they get home. You have that information from them. And uh, I've used that to uh, get people connected to my online store. Now, they may not call me with their order, but as long as they're still shopping with me, that is what you want. So get in that information on the spot, go to your website, get the contact me, and go ahead and have them to put their information in. I've done this and it works very well there. One of the other things there uh, has been a community leader that I like to do, and I just recently did it last week, was donate items to the community. Uh, I've donated items to frontline workers, and I'll put that in a clear literature bag, and I'll put either a deodorant, uh, a hand cream, a lip gloss, I may put all three things together, and I'll bundle them together, and I'll give them out to our frontline workers, whether it be the hospital, or maybe a postal worker, or maybe someone that is, um, you know, cleaning um, these areas where our frontline workers are, could be our uh, police officer, firefighters there, whoever you decide to choose there, this is putting you out uh, as a supporter to those who are working in your community. And that also get your name out there in the community, help you grow your business so that you can start doing fundraisers as well. Uh, you can connect with churches uh, in your community and do fundraisers there to help grow your business. And I've had some customers that we, um, have participated in fundraisers with churches, uh, be, return back and uh, shop with my Avon business there as well. When you do your fundraisers, always make sure that you are prepared with your business cards and you're dropping that business card in every bag or you're dropping a book in every bag when you're delivering uh, those items there. Even if it is one of the stuffed animals that a lot of people sometimes do uh, as fundraisers, find a way to attach your information to each fundraiser item that you uh, give out so that you grow in your business there. It's just too easy uh, not to do that. So one of the things before I get into some of my closing uh, information is there, is just to share, just in case if everybody may not be connected to me, uh, these are the tips that I share that you can do six days out of the week there. 
I did six days because I'm off on Sundays. So, um, but the first one is, I call it as uh, Market Monday, and I need to read these here to make sure that I'm giving it to you correctly. Market Monday, on Mondays, market and share your business. Share five items online to let people see some of the new items, the holiday items that we have in the brochure, plus popular items, whatever that popular item may be to you. It could be a fashion piece, it could be skin so so. But on Mondays, make sure you market your business and share five items. It's that easy, five items, consistently on a weekly basis. Guarantee you, you stay, stick with it, you'll get results. That's on Mondays. On Tuesday, I call it Tets Tuesday. Text 10 people your online brochure and ask them for a $25 order. Now, I don't think $25 is extreme and it's too much to ask for. All it takes is a couple of items now with our price increases to, uh, to get someone to hit the $25 mark. Someone ordered $20 worth of uh, skincare products from me last night. Uh, I introduced another skincare product to them and they went on and ordered uh, $20 more uh, in skincare products from me. So I don't think that's too much to ask for. Text Tuesday. Now on Wednesdays, I call it Walk with Wednesdays. Walk the streets and share your brochures and business cards with 20 people for growth in your customer base. Walk Wednesdays. Walk the streets and share your brochures and business cards with 20 people for growth uh, in your customer base. You can do this while you're going to the bank, while you're running errands, while you're going in a grocery store. Some of us live in Walmart. Some of us live in the Dollar Tree. Well, make sure that cashier know that you're the Avon representative. And uh, you can discreetly share business cards and books with some of the customers while you're waiting in line. I know right now things are different and there's social distances there, so but but you can kind of find a way to do those things there uh, and make it happen for you on Walk Wednesdays. On Thursdays, I call that Thankful Thursday. This is the opportunity for you to reach out to 30 customers. They can be old customers or it can be your recently new customers, but you're letting them know that you're thinking about them, how much you're thankful for their support to your business. These are the words that I would encourage you to use. You're thankful for their support to your business, and you're wishing them and their family, if it's close to a holiday, wish them a happy Thanksgiving. Just staying connected, other than it being about sales there. Uh, and then at the end, you can always say, hey, if I can get any last minute items for you and your family, don't hesitate to text or call me. I'm ready and happy to help. You can use those exact same words there, I'm ready and I'm happy to help. Staying connected with your customer base is very important, very important there. Uh, on Fridays, I call that the Family Friends Referral Friday, where you challenge 30 of your family and friends to refer as many people to you on that Friday, and you'll enter them into your raffle for a gift basket. And you can make a gift basket up, take a picture, and you can text that to them so they can see what they're getting and their name will go into the drawing as many customers that refer to you, that order from you, you can do that on Fridays. Uh, Freedom Friday, so it's, it's your opportunity to be able to just have family and friends to show their support. If they don't order from you, just refer people to you. And when those people um, let you know who refer them, you can drop that person's name into your raffle there and uh, give them a small prize for those referrals. And Saturdays, I call that the selling Saturday, selling on Saturdays there. That's the opportunity for you to just get out in the public and sell, sell, and sell. It's the time to get some products in hands, introduce products, um, gain orders on the spot by introducing products, letting people smell uh, the products, sample the products there, collecting contact information, which I've already shared with you how to collect that information there as well from everybody who you meet and uh, enter their information on your website and under that contact me part uh, on your website so that you are having people connected to your online store, your online brochure as well. So that's my uh, six days of uh, action that you can take there. It's a difference in taking action that's going to keep you busy versus uh, taking action on things that's gonna actually bring you results. So some of the things that I've shared with you, 
Those are things that I guarantee you, if you take action on it, it's gonna bring you results. Stay committed. Don't think it's gonna happen in two days. Well, some of the things that they may happen in a few days, if you have products on hand and you can afford to sell uh, the Skin So Soft, uh, those things are, you're gonna find somebody that want a bottle of Skin So Soft, guaranteed there. Um, I use the power of positivity there. And there's four Ps that I uh, refer to when I'm talking about positivity there. A positive mindset, make sure every day you're listening to motivational speakers, getting your mind right in the morning while you're getting dressed, maybe you're in the shower, uh, or maybe you're eating breakfast, listening to something positive. If it's just a positive selection, or maybe a positive podcast on YouTube there, getting your mind in the right place. If your mind is ever lost, if someone's able to control your mind and get you off track there, your whole day seems to fall apart. So I want to encourage you to get your mind right, have a positive mindset there uh, every day, every single day. Block the negativity. Don't let the thoughts come up there. Listen to Les Brown. Listen to Darren Hardy. Listen to Jim Lund. Uh, Those guys are great, and they're great motivational speakers for a reason there. Uh, they've gone through struggles. They've gone through challenges. And the only reason why they succeeded is because they did not give up. So be encouraged and make sure that you're keeping your mind positive. Positive actions, that's the other uh, P. Positive actions are going to give you positive results there. Make sure that you're constantly taking the actions that's going to bring you results. Uh, your time is valuable. Don't waste time doing things that you're not getting results from. Or, or don't waste time trying to figure things out on your own. Connect with your upline. That's, that's, why, we, that's why we're here, to help you grow in your business there. So don't struggle for too long. Your time is valuable. Make sure that you're keeping positive actions uh, on a daily basis there in your business so that you can bring the results to your business. Uh, and, and when you do those things, that positive mindset, uh, positive action, you're going to have a more positive life. And there's nothing better than waking up with that joy because you know that you're on a positive track. You got your mind right in the morning. Um, you got you got your uh, goals already set for what you're going to try to achieve. You got your task in order, the action steps that you're going to take in order to uh, drive results for your business there. A positive life there, and it's going to be a positive team that you're going to build. That's the fourth positive thing. You're going to build a positive team because now you're going to be able to share your experiences with people on your team and help them have a more positive life there as well there too. So in my closing. I leave you Tim's triple D's, all right? Tim's triple D's. And that is in business and in life, what you want out of life, what you want out of business, I wanna encourage you to define it. Put it down on paper. Define what it is that you wanna do with your business. Define where it is that you wanna take your business. Put it on paper and make it your goal. Put it up in your house so that you can see it on a daily basis. Don't lose it. If it's not in your sight, it may not stay in your mind. Define what it is that you want. When you define what it is that you want, declare it, say it out loud. Stand in front of the mirror and declare what it is that you want from your business, what you want out of life, what you want from your sales, what you want from your leadership. It's something about hearing it that makes it come uh, in, into existence. They always say, speak it into existence there. So declare what it is that you want and then devote to it. Make sure that you stay committed and devote to making it happen. See it through. Yes, it's going to be hard. Yes, you're going to have challenges. There are going to be some stumbling blocks along the way, but don't give up. Don't settle for less. Uh, stay committed, stay the course, and make sure that you see it through because this is for you. And when you make it work, it's, it's amazing how you're able to then have that confidence to pull someone else along and show them how it can work for them too. So I hope that something I said tonight has been encouraging for someone, it'll inspire you, it'll help you have some ideas that you can use to take your sales and leadership side of your Avon business uh, to the next level there. I am here for uh, questions. If you guys have questions there, um, you can open up the mics, uh, Tammy, and they can ask questions there as well there. But it's been a pleasure uh, sharing those things with you tonight. We have, we appreciate you so much, Tim. Um, I want to bring up a couple of things. I know that I've heard that only 1% 
of people who actually write down their goals and they review them every day. There's only 1% in the world that does that. And I'm hoping that I'm in that 1% because I have my vision board on my wall, all around behind my desk. I declare every day and I, and you know, I do what I can to do that. So, and, and I have pushed that with people, have your vision, declare it and work for it. You can't, just, right. can't just post something once a month and, and on your social media because people were like, oh, do you still sell Avon? Right. Exactly. Yes. Yes. We got to We got to be uh, consistent uh, when we're marketing our business, when we're talking about our business and make sure people know we have not gone out of business. We're in business for life. Um, there's no reason for us to go out of business. We have an online store where people can shop 24 hours, seven days a week with us, you know, so and we have uh, even if new you, items. Right, and all of the new items there. So even if you retire doing the door-to-door -door or the face-to-face -face sales, promote your online store, the social media platforms, you know, connect to all of them and, uh, and make it work for you. You know, I don't do a lot of blogging, but I know blogging, when you blog about your business, it works. You know, there's a lot of people that's gotten great results from doing blogs as well. So um, yes, you gotta be consistent when you are uh, sharing your business and marketing your business. I have one question and I'm gonna let people open their own mics and let them ask. Uh, my question is how do you keep your products temperature controlled that you keep in your car? So it's very important to make sure in the summertime that you're not keeping products like makeup, lipstick, eyeliners, that cherry jubilee lipstick will not hold up in the car in those hot temperatures there. If you have to take things like that with you, uh, I recommend getting a, a cooler uh, and setting something in between your products and the ice that you have in the cooler there. Uh, have something separating that, but that cooler will keep some of those items that you may take along with you um, cool uh, while you're riding in your car. I do not recommend that you leave it in there overnight um, or, or during the day is what I mean there. I don't recommend that because uh, the temperature can, you know, damage the products there. If it get, some, of the, some of the temperatures in the summer times are extreme. So you want to be mindful of those things. You have a better opportunity uh, when, in the cooler weather to leave things in your car there. Um, depending on where you're located at, you know, that skin so soft bath oil will uh, freeze over there uh, depending on your location there. So I've had some shipped to me uh, that was frozen there because it came out of Ohio there. So um, I'm, I'm very mindful of uh, how long things are in my, uh, my car. Uh, rolling the windows up and things like that. Leave the AC on um, and so that you can keep those products cool there. And one of the best things you can do is just try to set up appointments uh, when you're meeting people to uh, show and share products with them too so that you can get to uh, destination A and back to destination B and get those products back out of the car again too. Okay, uh, who has a question? I do. Okay. So I I don't sell Avon, but I did enjoy your speech. Um, I appreciate everything you're talking about. I, I do like that. This is my son. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm actually doing DoorDash right now. I'm I'm multitasking myself. <laughs> um, my question is, so your four C was change, and your first one was consistency. I believe it was. So I've always known the only consistent thing is change. Um. <laughs> So with the generational gaps now, with the new age, people having places like Sephora and, and Ulta, and, and, and how do you grow your business with a new age of customers that maybe look at Avon as, you know, maybe, you, not to say this way, but as an older generation, when you're looking into these newer generations, how do you face that generation gap? Thank you. Thank you. Great question there because I, I have a lot of customers who are older customers, but I also have some who are middle age and also younger. And the only way that I'm able to show and convince my younger customers to give Avon a try is by sharing the product with them, letting them smell the product there talking with them about that product before they even try it. Let them know the benefits about it. Maybe there's a fragrance that uh, they're not aware of. I kind of let them know 
about the notes that that fragrance there and i said hey i just want your feedback on this fragrance there and let me know how it smelled to you um and most of the time when i can get them to at least smell it that's the opportunity for them to be introduced to that fragrance there because other than that like i said people have a, a different perspective on avon they don't know um, the different products that we have they don't know how some of the products smell some of them only know how grandma used to smell because she wore timeless perfume all the time but they're not aware of haiku reflection which is a clean uh fresh scent that uh a lot of my younger customers they love they don't know about uh far away infinity which is different from the regular far away so i have to make sure that i am allowing them to sample and experience that product in order to uh to do that i also when it comes to fashion I take time to uh, share some of the uh, fashion pieces that people like, well, you, you may not know them, but there are people in Avon who share pictures of them wearing different fashion pieces there. And I will share that and say, hey, look at what Avon is selling here now, you know? And that's one of the ways that I can get them to see that Avon has changed. And Avon is not the same Avon that you knew when, uh, you know, grandma was the one who was buying Avon there. You know, we have those uh, products now uh, for food, the noodles and the rice, and we have the detergent, the dish detergent, the dishwasher uh, products that we have there as well as the, the jewelry. So trying to just share those things with them with excitement and giving them an opportunity to see those things, that has helped me uh, gain those younger uh, customers there. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for the question. Who's next? Teresa, you have a question? And, um, okay, am I unmuted? You're unmuted, go ahead. <laughs> okay, uh, first of all, Tim, thank you very much for being here tonight. I have always looked at you for inspiration. Um, I have a full-time job. I work 40 to 50 hours a week other than my Avon business. And uh, when I learned about you for the very first time and how you also do that and the amount of cells that you have blows my mind. And um, I've always been uh, looking to learn from you. I've seen you at Rep Fest. Um, I love the things that you've said here tonight because I'm always looking for ways to break my plateau because I've always remained at President's Club um, for about 12 years now. So I'm trying my best to like find out what it is that I'm lacking. Where do I need to um, move my business? Um, I guess tonight though, I would love to hear from you. Do you use any tools to keep track of your customers, um, to keep track of your daily tasks, uh, any apps, or do you just strictly use our back office? Uh, great. Uh, and Teresa, thank you so much for sharing those uh, comments there and the compliments there. It's always a pleasure when I have the opportunity to meet uh, Avon representatives at the Avon conferences. Uh, for the past six years, I've been a speaker on stage or uh, virtual this year uh, in front of Avon representatives. And I'm so happy to be able to share uh, my knowledge there and hope to uh, give some golden nuggets to someone to help them grow their business. Now, I am currently using Avon back office there uh, for tracking my customers as well as my, uh, my laptop, my phone, my calendar. Uh, when I have an order for someone, I have to put it as a reminder in my calendar so that I can remember to go in and put that order into uh, avonnow.com. I got an order right now that someone texts me uh, that's sitting in my calendar. So when I get off this talk here, I'll be able to go and uh, get that order put into avonnow.com. Those are the things that help keep me organized there. And I have to stay organized because just like you, I have a full-time job, a career that I'm working, as well as being involved in the community and doing other speaking engagements there too. So it allows me to stay on track there. And that's very important to stay on track and put things on your calendar uh, for organization there so that it doesn't uh, affect your mind as much there. You know, when things become stressful, you kind of want to separate from those things there. So I want to encourage people to make sure that you are putting things on a calendar, get it off the brain, 
and making sure that uh, you're keeping track of the times that you're going to work your business or make your deliveries to your customers there. That's always been uh, helpful for me doing those things there. Um, no fancy app that I have. I try to keep things simple. And the reason why I try to keep it simple because I want any representative to be able to follow my steps and have success there without doing so much um, extra, you know, and for them to have excuses for not being able to succeed uh, in this business here. So I try to uh, keep things as simple as possible there. So uh, your, your calendar on your phone, your calendar uh, maybe on your laptop there, and then the Avon back office to keep your customers organized. Now you can always put on an Excel spreadsheet, just in case if you ever don't have access to avonnow.com so that you have your customers there. Uh, one of the things that I also do in my phone, um, I have my customers in my phone and I'll put a little note there when they last ordered from me and what it was that they ordered so that I can keep a track of that. So if they're calling me while I'm on the phone with them, I can put them on speakerphone, quickly look at that note and then ask them about that product there. And that just impresses them that you remembered what it was that they got the last time that they call you uh, or the last time they could order from you there. So, uh, and then you can also keep notes there about anything that you may talk with them about your family, you know, that's building that relationship there uh, with your customer base there. Thank you. You are welcome. And uh, keep on keeping on, Teresa. Uh, one of the things that I wanna encourage you to try, uh, continue to do what you're normally doing and pick that one product that you're going to push out to everybody and find out how maybe you can take your business to that extra thousand dollars a month or a thousand dollars every three months there by pushing that one product, find out how many you need to sell uh, in order to push that product there. And if you don't know what product that's gonna be, I'm always telling people to follow on the skin so soft, but I don't know what area you may be in. Your customer uh -huh. base may not care for skin so soft like mine, but I have a lot of people, male and female, that love that skin so soft bath oil. So that's one that I would recommend there. And you can you can break that that barrier uh, that you have there when it comes to sales there by doing that. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Carrie, do you have a question? Is that Carrie who won the trip to Paris? Yes. I'm so <laughs> jealous. Congratulations. <laughs> there you, I mean, you have a testimony all by yourself about the beauty of uh, having an Avon business and working it there. I mean, you earn a trip to Paris. That's incredible. Congratulations. Yes. I didn't earn a trip. I won a trip. Yeah, but I, yeah. I let people know that usually Avon don't do that. You usually have to earn a trip. That's right. That's right. You won that trip to Paris there, and, and you get to bring someone along with you. Yeah. I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. I was, I was um, showing Teresa that I used the, the customer follow-up list that Avon had, and you can go by campaigns. I like and I, that. I went back to this here recently to try to get back on track so but i can send that to you Teresa, if you yeah, did it. That, that's something great for you um teresa that you can use there um carrie can have that um sent over to you carrie wh where can she find that um i had posted that because i'm on teresa paul's um, team and i have put that in the uh her group years ago like 2017 but um so i went back to it and got it back off that but um i can repost it somewhere or put it share it somewhere but um it used to be off of avon now but i'm not sure where to find it if it's in the avon u or not okay but, um, yes. That'll be great. That'll be great. I, I'm, I'm sure that it will help a lot of Avon reps to have that tracker there. Um, even if you can send it to Tammy, you know, and post it in uh, my group as well there too. You know, I welcome things like that in the group there. It, it will help a lot of Avon reps to have that to track. I'll add my email in the chat. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Might be tomorrow. That's fine. Oh, no problem. That's what you it's all about. midnight. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> My husband's ready to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is too. He's a truck driver, yeah. Oh, man. Okay. He, I, I, when, he sells all of our men's clone. He, he works the business while he's out trucking. So I'm very proud to have him as my, my co-applicant. Outstanding. My it, it always client. excites me. It always excites me when I see uh, men helping with the Avon business or they have their own Avon business there because uh, we can reach people that sometimes uh, the lady may not be able to reach there or our, our spouse may not be able to reach there. So that's great support um, that he's giving you there, Tammy. And uh, that's, that's amazing. I have a lot of truck drivers who are customers there and truck drivers like to smell good too. That's so, right. <laughs> yes, yes. So keep on keeping on, my friend. That's great. Thank you. Samantha, yes. I'm going to put you on the spot. Samantha is our firefighter. Thank you. <laughs> okay. You have to have a question. Yeah, You're always full of them. If I'm not home, I'm 98% of the time at the fire station now. So normally this is the first Zoom I've had in four weeks now that I haven't been at the fire station. And I'm surprised. Wow. And got a call during the Zoom. So. <laughs> Hey, hey, Samantha, thank you for uh, the service that you give there uh, to your community there as well there too. So it's, it's good to have you on the call and I'm glad that you were able to make this Zoom and hopefully something said tonight uh, will be of help to you as well there too, so. Samantha is a new leader, so she's, she's winging it with us. So we're proud awesome. of her. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Okay, no questions, Samantha? I'll, I'll take you off the hook. <laughs> well, I have I have one because Zach won't quit telling me to ask. So okay, go I'm ahead. gonna ask. What is the since we hang out at the fire station so much, and most of the people that we talk to are either the firefighters or their family. What is one product that we can get for the firefighters that I would, would sell them into Avon that would make them want to come into Avon more? Well, I would just say start with something simple, something simple as silicone hand glove, uh, silicone glove uh, hand cream there, or one of the Skin So Soft hand creams there, because uh, I found out when I've worked in places, when I place those hand creams by the sinks, uh, men and women are using the hand creams there as a moisturizer because we're constantly washing our hands all throughout the day. So that's one of the things that I said could be something inexpensive that you can have and you can say, hey, try this, see how it makes your hands feel. And uh, right now as the season is changing, it would be a great opportunity uh, to introduce the silicone glove hand cream. Nurses love it. Uh, I haven't had anyone that I have introduced that silicone glove hand cream to yet uh, to not like it there. It smells great and uh, it makes your hands feel good there. So I would just recommend starting there first. Okay. So two bucks, two. Yeah, Johnny sells a lot of that to the uh, factories that he delivers to. A lot of the, the factory workers buy that silicone glove up. They love it. There you go. It is a great product for male or female there. Um, whether you're working indoor or outdoor, uh, silicone glove has been the product to go to there. And uh, I think right now it's on sale for $2.69. Okay, I don't know who the 917 is, um, but do you have a question? I, I can unmute them or I can. I really don't want to, I want to respect their privacy. <laughs> so, I'm like that. Yep. Anybody else has any questions? Tim, I'm honored that you joined us tonight. I really do appreciate it. It's been a pleasure, uh, Tammy. I, I appreciate you for uh, extending this opportunity to me, and uh, I'm glad that I had the opportunity to be able to share some uh, words of encouragement and wisdom with everyone, and just looking to hear about, you know, the results that you get when you execute some of these things that were shared as well there. I have pages and pages of notes, so. Excellent. I'm going to get on my team, too. Coming after you. 
<laughs> Make it happen. Make it happen. Hey, I always tell people, even right now in 2020, we still have time left to make some uh, drastic changes with our business there, you know. Uh, so it's, it's not too late. You know, if you're trying to hit a certain sales level, you still have time. Holiday shoppers, they've already started shopping there. So take advantage of that. Make sure. Yeah. Make sure they're buying from you. They're buying. So. That's right. We are buying. And there's always buying. ways to share. Like, like you had said as well, there's always ways to share the opportunity. There's always ways to share your store. There's ways to do it. So you just have to be very inventive to do so. That's right. And, and you don't have to reinvent the wheel there. There's tons of information out there uh, in Avon groups on social media and Facebook. And there's tons of information out there uh, on YouTube as well there. You can just get up there and just search for it and, uh, and just start putting those things into action. There. You know, sometimes we gather a lot of ideas and we get information, but we forget to start putting it into action. You know, that's what's going to drive the results. Right. And I'm one that has to be mostly online because my 89 year old mom lives with us. And she's very dependent on us. So I go out once a week. But when we go out that one day a week, he will tell you I have Avon books with me. I have samples with me. My car is decorated in Avon. I have decals all over it. My YouTube stickers are on it. And we've had people in the bank line to get out and knock on the window. Can I have a book? You sure can. Wow. <laughs> you know, I love it. every time at the the uh, the teller, I will stick my card and a book in there, and you know, and send it through. So I love that. I love that. That's that's one of the things that I didn't mention um, as one of my tips. There is just branding yourself as you're going from place to place. Whether you have on an Avon magnetic badge, or you have on an Avon hat, or a shirt, or you have the decals on your car. You know, those things have all helped me. I mean, just from having the tag on the front of my car, having the tag, uh, the decal on the back of my car. I've sold products uh, from having those things on my vehicle and also um, with it, having it on my badge. I've had people to flag me down because they saw the Skin So Soft decal and they wanted the Skin So Soft bath oil. So uh, make sure you're branding yourself. We now, we have connection to Vistaprint where you can get yard signs, you can get your, your name badges, you can get uh, stickers to put on products. So when people get low on their products, they'll know who to call. Um, when they're getting low, all of those things are there. If you haven't seen the different promotional tools and uh, and Vista Point there, I encourage you to go and check it out on avonnow.com. It's good and the price is affordable. Yep, with that discount. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> well, if nobody else has any questions. Uh, we'll we will let you go, Tim. I know you're tired and hubby's tired. <laughs> So, I, it's been a pleasure it's been a pleasure and uh, i wish you all the best and if i don't talk to you again have a happy thanksgiving as well you too merry christmas, merry christmas. Thank, thank you, you. Tim. thank you tammy thank you bye everybody bye bye bye, bye. 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 bye.